Nigeria aims to get to a time where every home and office will be connected to green energy, especially solar power. There is need to inculcate a responsible way to achieve this. This is the essence of the simplified environment and social impact assessment process for solar mini-grid projects in Nigeria, launched by the federal government. Muya Thomas reports. Nigeria is faced with many challenges in its drive to achieve abundant electric power with a diverse impact on its economy. From gas to greed and other technical issues, it is becoming increasingly clear that the country needs to tap more into renewable energy. Since the European Union and the German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, jointly funded energy support program in 2013, acceptability of renewable energy in Nigeria has grown. There is now need for environmental and social management plan guidelines for solar power mini-grid projects, which would protect people and the environment. The emergency of solar power plant projects of over 10,000 megawatts capacity with net carbon footprints lead to the development of an abridged EIA process by the Ministry to boost the energy sector and align with the economic recovery and growth plan of the government. The, there is much that needs to be done still and uh, this is also why we're meeting here today to make this uh, work more expedient and efficient and, and effective. We hate the sustainability of the many grids that have been delivered all over the country. The guideline provides a step-by-step -step guide for developers and regulators on the activities to be carried out towards the development of environmental and social management plan. The aim is to encourage higher investment in the solar mini-grid sector, which will ultimately increase access to clean and affordable electricity across the country. Nigeria, the recent COP26 committed to net zero emission by 2060. The launch of this guideline is a step in the right direction for the country to achieve this. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.